achieved are you to to end that sequence of results and and get back to celebrating a win yeah really pleased um yeah, it's been a frustrating time not not winning the games of cricket or or playing uh, as well as we'd like so yeah delighted with the the win today um yeah i thought um milan got us off to a great start um and then the partnership from stokes and Wokes was was brilliant to get us up to a really good score was was that you know when ben came back into the squad it was to turn up at moments that counted and champions trophy was in the balance perhaps and, and it Ben was the man who stood up and was counted. That's a reason why you were happy to, to sort of have him back on show. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we, <clears throat> he wants the moments of, of, you know, getting us into semi-finals and trying to win finals as well. But uh, any time you need someone to stand up and you know the team's under pressure, he's had a history of, of always doing that for whoever he's playing for. So um, yeah, we're very lucky to, to have him in the team. Um, and I thought yeah, his innings today was exceptional. And there was, you know, some suggestion that maybe he should be getting away from this competition and getting his operation done early to, with an eye on the the Test series. But I don't know, it doesn't. I, I don't know if you broached that conversation with him or what. But it doesn't seem like his style. No, it's not his style at all. He's here to to play in the World Cup. He wants to be here, and um, they say you know, it was important for us to try and qualify for that Champions Trophy, and he wants to make sure we try and achieve that. Yeah, just. Uh... Did you please? I think uh, your, your uh, Ben Stokes uh, played with a fine century, a uh, well-timed century. I think you are hoping for the Champions Trophy qualification despite of this World Cup. How do you feel our Stokes' uh, century? Because it's uh, very vital for your team to beat the uh, Netherlands to get earn points. And now I think you are moved to seventh place in the points table. Lots of different situations throughout it really, really well. Um, and his partnership with Chris Wokes was, was brilliant to get us up to a really good score. Um, and we took that momentum into the bowling innings. I thought uh, Wokes and Willie started really well. Dean, VJ and Mel. Um, what for you was probably the, the, the highlight of, the, of that performance? Was it just the win itself or the fact that there was a little wobble, I think, when yourself and Mo went and actually the way things have gone in this tournament maybe start thinking the worst, but... To then come back and, and be dominant again. Yeah, I think um, I think the start is always pleasing. I thought um, Milan played really well at the top and and got us away. Um, and yeah, absolutely. You know, for that partnership between Stokes and Wokes at a really crucial time uh, for us to two guys who've um, performed really really well uh, put together a brilliant partnership. And um, you know, they just they managed it really well. They were very smart. They took. Um, good options when, when it was on, and um, yeah, to end up with that score uh, from the position we were in when we lost those wickets in the, in the middle there, I uh, thought it was a great effort. And, and I know this is not where you kind of wanted to be at, at this stage, but just by the virtue of stopping <laughs> five in a row, and all the, I don't know, the things going on in your head and, and, and all the rest of it that you've been doing, just what does a victory mean? Yeah, it's great. Um, no, it's nice to. It's not enjoyable losing games of cricket, um, so uh, yeah, any any game you play, um, you know, I'm competitive. I want to win, whether it's a game of cards or a game of cricket. So uh, yeah, it's nice to um, end that sequence, and uh, we go to Kolkata. Um, you know, not playing for what we we wanted to be playing for, but a really vital match for us in the grand scheme of things. It's great to be heading there with something on the line. Uh, just uh, a, a disclaimer first, uh, Ben Stokes can score a century anywhere in the world. But here I'm asking because he's familiar with Pune ground, Pune conditions, Pune pitch as well, which is somewhat, you know, the commentators Nasser Hussain and Ravi Shastri were also constantly saying he knows the pitch very well and the stadium. You think the familiarity factor has anyway helped his century today? Yeah, potentially. Um, I think his first IPL, he got a, a hundred here, didn't he? And, um, a few years ago, he was out on 99 in ODI here as well. So, uh, yes, obviously a ground he, he likes playing at. And, um, yeah, that's great for us today. Um, Joss, there are obviously a lot of, been a lot of head scratching. And you've been asked, Matthew's been asked, or everyone's been asked about what's been going wrong and what has been the reason for this World Cup, the way it's gone. But it's, So it, is there anything that you can put your finger on that helped things go right? Or has it just been completely the same before this match as it has before every other match? And is there anything you can harness from this that you can take into the, the last game in Kolkata? Yeah, I think um, you know, everyone's been 
frustrated. Um, but um, no, the, the guys have stayed tight. There's, everyone stayed um, really close and, and kept working hard. I think if you watched training yesterday, you, um, you guys probably trained as hard as they trained all trip, which is you know, shows the level of commitment and desire to, to put things right. Um, don't get to the level of player that we've got in the squad without having that um, personal pride and work ethic and determination to to put things right when they're not um, going uh, the way you want. Um, and we just, I guess, hung in there and trusted ourselves and, um, you know, put trust in, in the guys to at some point yep, the uh, wheel will turn, um, keep trying to deliver the same messages and um, play you know, committed to the style we want to. Um, like I say, we got off to a really good start uh, today. It was something that's been a hallmark of the team. Um, so that was crucial. Uh, and then handling pressure and coming out the other way, which um, Stokes and, and Wokes did brilliantly well in that partnership. So they're things we haven't done consistently enough uh, throughout the, the tournament. But um, yeah, at some point, you know, top players will, will get it right. And you, I mean, you mentioned training um, and, and the level of intensity. That, was there a change before this match? I guess realizing that this was pretty much, you know, last last chance saloon. No, I don't think so. I think everyone's been working hard for the, the whole trip. Um, but uh, yeah, I just like I say, it's, it'd be easy for us to, to tail off or if things weren't, um, you know, if guys weren't as committed, you know, you wouldn't get that level of training even when things haven't gone well. So um, yeah, credit to everyone for um, st still putting in and, and showing how much uh, it means to play for England and the pride in our performance. And of course, Champions Trophy is uh, something we're very focused on. Um, and determined to, to make sure of that. So what each from Ali, uh, Matt and Chris, and then we'll look out. Um, Joss, you know better than most that cricket never stops. Is it your intention to play in both legs of the Caribbean Tour in December? And also, is it your intention to captain the side in both legs of the Caribbean Tour in December? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to. Um, yeah, I know uh, Rob Key arrives uh, into India today, I think. so. Um, yeah, we can have some good conversations um, you know, with him and the coach and everyone and, and make a plan for, for that tour. Um, but yeah, I'd like to. Just, you said it's not Ben's style to go home early. Did you have to have a conversation with him at any point? Did you ask him, like, does he want to go home and sort it? No, uh, no, don't need to. We haven't had any conversation and like I said, it's not Ben's style. He's, I say he's committed, he wants to play and he wants to put in performances, which, you know, like you saw tonight.